Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Daryl Bigner, K4PJO, and he has a simple question about an off center fed dipole. He says, I've watched several of your videos and have learned a lot. Thank you for those. But I have a question about balance. I'm having to replace the ballon on my Buxcom OCF antenna that's off center fed uh, antenna and I'm having trouble figuring out which one. I see one to four and four to one voltage or current balance, which is correct. Thanks from Daryl. Before we jump into answering Daryl's question, I'd like to pay a special thank you to Delbert McCord, who is my most recent patron on Patreon. He is helping to support this channel. You too can help support this channel by going to patreon.com slash ke0og. Okay, let's take a look at what is going on here. Okay, we have a, um, a dipole. The dipole is one half lambda, which is the wavelength. Okay, it's the Greek letter for wavelength. So from here to here is a half. Now, dipoles are often fed in the center, off center, and there's a couple points that people use for that, and at the end. Okay, all of them are dipoles, whether they're end fed, center fed, or off center fed, they're all dipoles. Okay, now you've got an off center fed dipole you call a Buxcom. Um, I looked that up on the internet and really couldn't find anything. So I'm just going to assume it's a fairly conventional off-center fed dipole. Now, uh, the one that I have, which happens to be the reference antenna, is 66 feet long. Um, and it is uh, one-third on this side of the brake and then two-thirds on the other. Okay. And it is fed with two balance. The first is a current ballon. That's the one that it sees right here. And then this goes out to a choke ballon. Because this ballon right here, this current ballon, is really a bal bal. It's balanced to balanced. And the choke ballon creates the equivalent of a one to one bal un with the un part coming out here and the balance coming out here. And these are on the same board. I mean, they're within a few millimeters of each other. Okay, and this is a current ballon. Now the difference between a voltage ballon and a current ballon is this. Let's say this is the feed line. And these are the two halves of the dipole. Okay, this is uh, designed so that the voltage on each side is the same, and it will go up and down with the um, with the antenna. And the thing is, the antenna will see the same voltage going across the uh, ballon uh, that it would otherwise. Uh, a current ballon doesn't matter what the voltage is on one side or another. It makes sure that the current flowing in each side of this is the same, okay? Now, um, these uh, many four to one ballons that you buy these days are a, um, I'll make this a coil, it's usually a toroid. And you have one, two, the tap, three, four, a tap, and a tap, okay? So this is fed with the center conductor here, I'm sorry, the uh, shield here, the center conductor here, and then this is uh, called plus and minus, but this side over here is balanced, and it's a voltage balance. Okay, what you want here, I believe, I don't think 4 to 1 is the exact ratio for it. It depends on the antenna and where it's tapped. The idea is to meet the antenna. Get a hold of the instructions and find out what kind of antenna you have. I did do a little search for it on Google and couldn't find anything. Although it does appear to be reviewed on e, uh, eham.net. Um, 
and it's just B-U-X-C-O-M. Um, so I would take both of these and replace it with a 4 to 1 current and make sure it's actually a BAL UN because you want the UN side to go to your feed line and you want the 4 side to go to the antenna. So this would be 4, this would be the 1. Okay, now note here. Okay, so the 4 side goes over here and the 1 side here. Note that this here is a 4 to 1 ballon. The windings ratio is 2 to 1. But you take the square of that windings ratio, 2 to 1, and you end up with 4 to 1. That's the way balance work, okay. So I would suggest if you have no other information available, look for a 4 to 1 current balance with the 4 being the balanced side and the 1 being the unbalanced. And then you will feed this with 50 ohms, this over here will become 200 ohms, which might be about the right for feeding this thing a little off center. You would not use a 4 to 1 ballon to feed it in the center or at the end, but somewhere in between there. Okay? Now, if you're fed further out, look at the instructions carefully. It should give you some information about the ballon that goes in there. All right? So there you have it. We've taken a look at the different possibilities for a ballon uh, for uh, Daryl here, and I hope that he finds one that works very well for him. So there you have it. Uh, if you would like to help support this channel financially, go to decastler.com support and look for a way that works for you. And until we next meet, 73.